Billy, you so crazy. Yo, what's cracking? What's bracking? It's your boy. Billy, you so crazy, and we back, and we back, and we back, and we back with another one. Y'all read the title, so I know what I'm doing. This is Craig Morgan, if not me. This was requested by Georgia Walker. You are fairly new, very, very new to the so well the crazy pack community so welcome welcome to the family i know that you have been a so crazy family member but you are new to the crazy pack so once again let me give you the the hello there hello thank you so much it means a lot to me that you are a part of the crazy pack for a, like like i wish you could feel my heart thumping i just imagine this is your hand and you can you can feel my heart do, 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 do. is that weird you know i forget that i even said that because i i ain't trying to catch a case <laughs> Anyways, if you're new to this channel, welcome. Please be a part of the So Crazy Family by hitting that subscribe button. I promise I'm not that weird every time. I am crazy, but I'm not that weird, all right? Comment down below what you want to see me react to next, and I'll have it up for you. You know what I'm saying? When I get the chance, just be patient. That's all I ever ask. Y'all never are, but I say it every video. One day you'll listen, hopefully. But anyways, enough talking, y'all. Let's get into this Craig Morgan, If Not Me. If Not Me. He said, Mama, I know you have a lot of plans for me. College in the fall, hey, I'm almost 18. I've been doing lots of thinking about a lot of stuff. Went down to the recruiter today and I signed up. Oh, now if his mom is anything like mine, I know she had a panic attack because, man, I told my mom I was joining and she just, you know, the funny thing about mothers, like, you know, when you, when you tell them that you're joining the military, they just see like war. That's the first thing that comes to their mind is they baby dying at war. Like that's all my mom ever seen. All she ever seen was just me dying at war. <laughs> I tell you what though, she is very glad that I'm out now for sure. Cause she, she was stressed, but I will say that she was, she was a lot stronger by the time that I got in and you know, I went on all my trainings and my deployments it she she handled it better than i thought that she would but initially when i told her i'm um, like you would have thought like i got murdered right in front of her eyes it was oh, oh, like so if there's any um you know 18 year olds or anyone that's looking to get into the service now and you're having a conversation with your parents you know while you're you know with your plans after high school and all that just know they're they're never gonna you know like it but they are gonna be forever proud of you. They're, for sure, they're gonna be proud of you. Once again, shout out to all my veterans that are watching this video, by the way. Anytime I do like a veteran reacts, I always get a flood of different types of people, you know, ones that are active, retired, whatever the case may be. And then I also get the ones that are about to join. You know, I did my research as well before I joined. I watched a bunch of videos on YouTube. Just listen to me when I say that your experience is gonna be your experience. Don't base someone else's experience on what can potentially be yours or the deciding factor of whether or not you're going to join. That's I'm going to leave it at that because some people get that confused. So I'm going to just leave it at that. Don't let someone else make up your mind about something that you've never been a part of is what I'm saying. If not there, then where? If not now, then when? If not this, then what? Being gone and being scared. Yeah. What else can I do if not me, mama? If not me, then who? Well, he's upstairs shaving. His clothes are starched and pressed. I'm down here praying, my mind is in a mess. I ask where he got these crazy ideas anyway. He just smiles and says, it's the way that I was raised. And if not there, then where? You can't even be upset at something like that. I was raised a military brat. So military was all I knew, even though as a kid I was saying like I would never join. And then... <laughs> You know, sure enough, I signed my light, signed that blank check with my life on it, you know what I'm saying? If not now, then when? If not this, then what else can I defend? Being gone and being scared. What else can I do? If not me, daddy. If not me, then who? That's 
number 84 wide receiver for the Wildcats whose picture is hanging in my heart next to the soldier standing proud and tall he said if not there then where if not now then when if not this, then what else can I defend? Being gone and being scared, what else can I do? If not me, dear God, if not me, then who? I tell you, man, these, these songs be making me so proud that I was able to serve. These songs be making me, and then they be having me have moments where I'm like, man, I miss being in and it's seldom because my life right now is real cush like plush compared to you know and the whole waking up at five o'clock for pt and all that like your boy work out on his own time now you know i make my own schedule so it's different uh but man it, it makes me it makes me proud that i was able to, to serve you know and, and to fulfill the contract that i that i did and to you know get out with certain things just blessed, truly blessed, just mm. now I'm not sure if, if Georgia is a, a dependent, a, a, or well, I don't want to say dependent, but a, a spouse or in the service or not, but oh. Mm. Yeah, if you, if you guys are, if there's any spouses out there that are that are watching these videos and want to hear from a veteran or from someone that was active duty or whatever on the other side, that trust me, y y your partner is missing you just as much as you miss them. Even if it may not seem like they do, or they may not be able to express it or whatever, just know that they they do, and they would much rather be there with you than where they're at for sure. And they're doing everything within their power to make it home. And, and to all my vets that are out there doing what they got to do. You know, you, you got you got family at home that, that miss you in ways. Yeah, I know that you out there continuing your, your journey and your mission because, you know, objective number one is to complete the mission. But just know you, you got family at home that that's really proud of you and supporting you. And they can't wait till you come home. They can't wait till you come home, man. I remember I used to watch like homecoming videos and be freaking bawling my eyes out when I was deployed. I couldn't wait to finally have that moment of being home like I watched so many of them, I made myself sick because I just, I was like, I can't watch anymore because th those videos get me every time. Uh, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and just end it like that. Once again, thank you so much, Georgia Walker, for being a part of the Crazy Pack. I really appreciate your support. It means a lot. Good pick, Craig Morgan, if not me. If you guys enjoyed this reaction, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below right now what you want to see me react to next, and I'll have it up for you when I get the chance, man. I really appreciate all you guys' love and support. It means so much to you, boy. I'm telling you, y'all just don't get it, man. Y'all, y'all change, y'all change this veteran's life forever. You know, y'all, y'all really did. But anyways, I'm ending right there. It's your boy Billy. You so, you know Billy. You so emotional. Was entered the chat when I can't talk no more. So, whew, it's your boy Billy. You so crazy. And I'll see you guys in the next video, man. I'm out to stay. Peace.